Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a hot edition of Thoughts Count Anywhere, coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas Studios, our heart of Las Vegas. I'm getting the I'm getting the finger from Chief. Chief, you know I don't have to give you instruction on the bell. Thank you for joining us, making us part of your July 4th holiday weekend. Just remember, if you are on the go and you can't sit and watch us, it's okay. Go to the Go Live Vegas mobile app. Download it to your phone so you can listen to the audio and take us wherever you go. And, of course, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube. Go to our page, ThoughtsCountAnywhere.com. Simply click on the Live Show tab, and that'll take you, which is great, because if you go to the website, then you can go to the Shop tab, which is right over here, right next to it, and pick up some merch. we got a ton of merchandise, and ProWrestlingTees.com. I, I saw, I got an email, gentlemen, that they're having a big weekend discount for orders over 100 bucks. You get like 20% off on Pro Wrestling Tees. Yeah. That's cool, and I think we'll be involved in that if people buy our shirts. Yeah, we are. That'll be cool. Gentlemen, Matt, Chief are in the house. How are we doing this weekend? Everybody good? Yes, sir. Ready to roll. We've got Can you lot. bring up Chief's mic? He's a, on the other mic. We have a lot to talk about. Sorry, brother. That yes. was, that's my fault, Mr. Aaron. I apologize on that. But we're ready to roll with a big sheet and a lot to talk about. There you go. Mr. Matt? I'm good just dealing with the knuckleheads. People of Fremont Street. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a week. I do you, miss, do miss, you have a story for us this week? I kicked a lady out earlier this week. And she was, like, waving something in her hand. She's like, I'm not doing anything, blah, 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 blah. And I looked in her hand, and I was like, are you really waving your crack pipe at me? <laughs> and she was like, she realized what was in her hand, and like, quickly put it in her pocket. She's like, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. 702-329-6947 is our number one, 855. 502-4321, in either case, press one to join us in the studio. Before we get to our run sheet, I want to send a huge shout-out to everybody. That came down and saw, and saw our live show at Firehouse Subs down at uh, East, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, East Sahara and Nellis. Uh, great time. And we gave away a trip to, we gave away three of our <clears throat> TCA shirts yeah. and a trip to Cancun went to Brandy. So she was very excited that Brandy, so she's going to be going to Cancun. Three people wearing our shirts. We had a great time. So look for us July 27th will be our next live remote show at Firehouse Subs located on, on uh, Eastern near Russell Road. That is our other store. And so uh, we'll have some great stuff to announce uh, as we go along as well. I had a good time out there. I know you guys had trouble hearing, but w- the way everything was happening, plus, you know, you give microphones to Shade and Wes and you have no control of nothing anyway. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> shoot your bronies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to all the employees. Shout out to Michelle. And of course, a shout out to Brandon. <laughs> who helped us get everything set up. Good morning, everybody in the chat room. We appreciate it. Fire away your, your uh, comments in there or send us a tweet. Your tweet will show up on the screen using hashtag thoughts count anywhere. Okay, with that, it is time. I hear voices. <laughs> Rumored match coming up for SummerSlam. Edge versus Seth Rollins. Will Edge be the universal champion going into SummerSlam as he takes on Roman coming up in Money in the Bank? I don't think so. I think it's just going to be a singles match between the two, but I really hope that one happens because... Because we're going to be there. Between the backstory (laughs) and we're going to be there, I want to see that match live, so make it happen. You know, if Seth Seth wins the match, Mm -hmm. does Edge go away? Does he finally retire? No. I think that's the question. I'm, I'm not sure. I think he's running hot right now. And, and right now they need as much as many performers as possible to get the bad taste out of everybody's mouth of all the releases. And I think they're going to keep edge. Because you know what? Hell, uh, Money in the Bank, although it's a major pay-per-view, it's not one of the big four. Right. And then coming into SummerSlam, it is one of the big four. I, I, in my opinion, I think Edge will probably get stretched out to WrestleMania somehow. And if you want, and if you want, if, if Edge wants to be done, WrestleMania is, you know, that's the number one place to, to do something. I don't, no, I don't disagree with you. I mean, that's just my thought. Yeah. You know, is, uh, I, I don't know what Edge, how long Edge's contract is, or if it's like uh, the other fellows where they come back every, you know, every <laughs> so often to wrestle. Um, but, you know, the, the, my question is, is he going to retire? You know, is Cena f- finally going to retire? You know, or 
but where they're going to do the guest spots. Right. You know, like the rock. We know the rock's going to come back eventually. It's going to happen. You know, Undertaker, Austin, are they going to be coming back? I don't see. I don't. Well, you know, you make a you make a face showing a public appearance like Stone Cold and these guys did on the Raw twenty five. You make right. a, that's right. one thing. I th- well, uh, supposedly Austin really physically can't wrestle anymore because of his neck. But then again, we saw it with the Edge, we saw that with Daniel Bryan. Um, I think he's done. He's talked that he does, has no desire. He's got too many other great projects going on right now. Right. Undertaker, in my opinion, if he sets foot back into the ring, I think it sort of not tarnishes, but it takes a little bit away of the legacy. If you're going to come in, 25% of ability of what you were able to do, other than making an appearance to help somebody and just showing up, okay, again, I, I don't have a problem with that. The concern I have is getting in the ring and performing. When you know in your mind, although Sting is certainly proving that shit wrong over on AEW with what he's doing at 60 years old, but still, I, I, I don't know. I, Cena, in my opinion, I think he retired in the Firefly Fun, Funhouse match against Wyatt. I mean, we haven't seen him since. He lost in that match to get Wyatt over as the Fiend. Uh, to me, I thought Cena was done anyway. And for him to come back at SummerSlam, yeah, it would be great to see him and whatnot. I think they're just doing it for the getting butts in the seats kind of thing against Roman. Is it all about the money? I think so. Even though they're still making money hand over fist with merchandise and everything. Have you seen the ticket prices for SummerSlam? <laughs> yeah, it exactly. is about the money. <laughs> There's it like all, front it, row seats going right now for like 12500 It always is, my friend. It always is. Oh, yeah. Good morning to Jeff. Good morning to Heather. Good morning to who else in there? Sarah. And, of course, Brandy's in there. Duke is in there as well. We thank you for joining us this morning. Okay. I, listen, it, le- it leads enough, but I, I'm looking forward to Edge versus Seth. Uh, I agree. I don't, think, I don't think there's any way Roman can lose the belt if they are working towards Roman and, and The Rock for WrestleMania. I, I just don't see the reason how they could <coughs> slow down that progression and momentum. But I agree. What do I know about hockey? Okay, next topic. <coughs> Another rumor, if they can't get Brock in time, we might get Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg. That shit better not happen. <laughs> <laughs> and I paid five hundred and fifty dollars to see Goldberg <laughs> possibly win in thirty seconds. No, nope. or losing in thirty seconds, or losing yeah. in thirty seconds. Either way, I don't want to see it. No comment. No. Co- <laughs> there was a report I saw come out a couple of weeks ago where it, he made a comment that he's getting back into shape again for an appearance or two or three. I don't know, but he has a certain number of appearances that he signed to for WWE in this last agreement, didn't he? Yeah. I think it's like two or three a year. So, I'm getting in shape too at 69, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to, you know, never mind. All right. <laughs> Last topic in the I Hear Voices segment. The rumor draft will have a bigger feel than years past. I don't know what they could do differently to make it exciting. Who would you like to see switch? <clears throat> and, and this because we didn't get to it on Tuesday. We, we kind of touched on it, I thought, the week before, which was just an introductory comment. But who, who are some of the names? I think... Drew McIntyre has to switch to SmackDown at this point. He's the name that comes to mind. And Big E that's goes the, the other way. That's the one I yeah. said, Big E. Yeah. So I think those, those two for sure. Uh, yes, I, I saw that. How about uh, could, could it be time, you know, what we, what we were discussing before we come on air, <coughs> what we heard this morning, is there a possibility down the road that Sami Zayn and uh, uh, his good buddy, uh, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens get together and become a tag team. Maybe they'll move to uh, to Raw. Yeah, could be. Yeah. How about from the ladies' division? Who needs a, who needs a shakeup to move? And I still want to know what they could do. What they could do to make the draft feel bigger over a Raw and a SmackDown a week apart. You, they need to put NXT in it, and they're going to drain NXT because of all the releases. Thank you. That's what I, I, the one comment I was going to make is why did Vince go down to the performance center on Thursday and look around? Right. Is, is he scouting for people to come up to uh, Raw and SmackDown? But haven't they in the past, in the dra- past drafts, haven't they used NXT for like one or two picks? I haven't done a ton with them, but I think in the past they've drafted a couple of people up as part of the NXT brand to come to Raw or SmackDown, right? Haven't they used NXT in the past? Yeah, I can see. Like, I want to see him do some kind of shakeup where, like, people from Raw and SmackDown get drafted to NXT, and then people from NXT it's get drafted idea. to Raw or SmackDown. That's a great idea. 
that's the way that's the proper way to do it I agree with you and and you know what I think there's and I'll be honest I think there's eight or ten people on NXT that could go up right now and we know who we know one or two or three that will lead the pack because like a, go ahead Brad oh uh, sorry there's like a decent amount of people on Raw or Smackdown they're not really using that could beneficially be on NXT also yeah, so absolutely uh, there was talk that there was more NXT performers doing dark matches uh, ahead of Smackdown yesterday it was about a half a dozen names that I saw. Um, one continued to be Karrion Cross, uh, but there were others that participated as well that were at SmackDown. But uh, we'll see. I would love to see. I think the idea is great. People can be drafted back to NXT to move, to shift things around, because I think the people we are seeing, because they continue to wrestle each other, they're getting, they're getting dusty. They need that fresh blood, which is where it's ironic that they shit-canned all these release people. Now they're going back on the road as of July 12th when you normally need these extra people for all the shows. And now we see what's going on. You know, is there a possibility that, that uh, Hunter and Sean and the commish down there? William up? Regal. William Regal, who I admire tremendously. Um, do they come up possibly with another show to where the new the newbies under a year or under two years come in, have an hour show to show their talents, work them up to where then they go to the NXT level and it's you know, a feeder system. Well, the people, even though they're, the marketing over the last couple of years has been that NXT is not the developmental brand. They're trying to make it a brand equal to Raw or SmackDown in the eyes of the WWE. My thought is, is that if you start another league that will feed into NXT, which then NXT will feed forward, and if you've got raw talent there, I just don't know how well received some of these raw raw talent will be who may not be polished. I, for one, and you guys have brought this up in the past, I'd rather see an hour show of the ladies. Give the ladies a platform by themselves. That's what I would rather see who are established from all brands. NXT, SmackDown, and Raw. I, I mean, I've, I've been saying that. Right. And I'd rather see that than them try to start a, another developmental show underneath NXT, which in theory is a developmental for Raw and SmackDown. I'd rather see the women. Because I, I think there's at least six or seven women on NXT right now that could go up to the main roster with no problem. Oh, absolutely. Besides, who doesn't like Nikki Cross as a superhero? And, and then they could. <laughs> We're get, canceled. That's <laughs> it. We're, it's over. <laughs> then, then they could get rid of. It was the, a nice run. <laughs> then they could get rid of the hood ornament. <laughs> anyway, with that, hey, we're up against our first break of the show. By the way, all of our gnomes here on the desk want to wish you a happy and safe July 4th weekend. You are watching Thoughts Count Anywhere coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas. I'm with Matt and Chief and all of you out there. Give us a call. Chime in. We'll be right back. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over. Listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. then welcome back to thoughts kind of anywhere shout out to nikki who joined us nikki i hope everything is okay want to know how your son aaron is doing behind a microphone and who'd you say is in your chat room? hey jeff scott how you doing today jeff scott's joining us thank you so much for making us part of your day all right a lot to talk about we're going to give you some results on round two of our bracketology coming up shortly and of course at the bottom of the hour chief's rant I know everybody tunes in specifically for that. But let's get into the WWE report. Okay. Jeff, 
<laughs> uh, Heather is rolling her eyes at Jeff's uh, uh, joke that he put in. The chat. Hey, I, I thought it was funny <laughs> myself. You want to read it back to the audience? No. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> the Fiend. There might be a sighting. August 9th Raw, he's being advertised. Will he come back as the Fiend? What, if so, what will the change be to the Fiend character since losing to Randy Orton and obviously being controlled by Alexa Bliss? You know, I think we all enjoyed his character. Mm -hmm. I really want to see Bray come back as Bray now okay. and wrestle. Not Be in the sweater, not in no, the fire. Just no, I want him to come back and wrestle like his lineage has provided in the right. past. Right. I want to see The Fiend come back and... I still like how he was, but he's probably going to come back like an evolutionized like version of whatever he's doing. Because every time I've like met him... He's always like, you haven't seen anything yet of what I'm planning to do. Right. So if he's been gone for like months, he's probably up to some creative genius idea. So I look forward to seeing what he does. I just want to see him back in the ring and doing what he does. Now, does he have, when he comes back, does he take issue with Alexa Bliss in some way? I don't know. Because like he was only on that Raw like after WrestleMania and they kind of wrote it off like right then and there. Okay. I hope not. I hope uh, I hope they they cut him apart and I hope that whole thing goes away now. And Alexa goes back to wrestling and Bray goes back to Yeah, wrestling. this whole thing with mind it's, control. It's been too long. Yeah. I, that's not freaking wrestling, folks. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's that, how I feel. Well, that's the entertainment that Vince is always looking for and that the um, you know, our the creative writing team <laughs> Uh, tends to throw in there. You had to bring that up. Didn't I'm you? sorry, I did. Well, yeah. I mean, that's all about. Now, I'm glad that you had brought up that Wyatt is doing his own creative stuff. As yes, he is, and and we know other people that do their own creative. And they're few. They're few and far between, though, unfortunately. But they're good. Oh, at yes. What they do. Oh, absolutely. And and, absolutely. and Bray, you know, in my opinion, Bray just Bray. Bray comes from good lineage. Absolutely, he and, does. And our uh, whatever the hell that is isn't working. Our electronic stuff. No, I got there, it. There you I go. Gotta you work. got it now. I so. got it. All right, we're on both pages. I'm trying to bring <laughs> up our shop stuff to show everybody where our stuff is. But anyway, so um, yeah, so it'd be interesting to see what they do with him coming back um, on August 9th after SummerSlam, or will he make a surprise appearance at SummerSlam and come back on Raw on the 9th? Why not? You know, uh, he, he's be, he's one of their Big, big <clears throat> stars that they have now. Um, I don't know. It's creative. He writing. better be at SummerSlam. <laughs> SummerSlam until the 21st. Right. Right. And it's not that far off from the August 9th. I mean, August 9th beforehand. So it would be interesting to see it's how they integrate perfect night to them. set up a match at SummerSlam. My exactly. Two, my two pet peeves, creative writing and hood ornaments. <laughs> well, She's I'm your favorite. I'm going to see what you think about this one. Next topic. Uh, don't go there. I ain't ringing the no, bell. No, it has nothing to do with it. Just ring the bell. What are your thoughts on Otis being stripped down of his beard and a haircut? <laughs> I don't like it. It looks weird. I don't like it. You know what, Otis? I watched the match last night. Otis is a wrestler. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can just tell. He, he was... Would you say you? You were, have one job. Would you say you? <laughs> you the, I think the producer just said he was going to go take a shit. He didn't bring a cereal in this week. Exactly. I'm trying to get him no to remind him. Wheat. Trying to remind him that it's a segment each week, but yeah. he keeps the. He's, you know, I wake we're him up. We're gonna make that a shirt. What's up? What's my cereal? <laughs> what's your cereal? <laughs> <laughs> what's your cereal? <laughs> 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 I think what they've done is, you know, a year ago when he had the money in the bank and he was with Mandy and all that, that's the character that the people fell in love with. Now, I understand the, the, the matching, so to speak, with Gable, you know, more polished wrestler trying to help change Otis. But I would have liked to see him get the same stuff from Gable, but under the original Otis moniker with the beard yeah. and the, and oh, the yeah. You know, oh, yeah, you know. I think they've stripped him down of his character. Brandy says he looks like an overstuffed man child. <laughs> Brandy also says whatever right. that means. Whatever. Brandy also says horrible too as uh, well. No, you know, I mean, if you, in my mind, when I looked at Otis last night, mm -hmm. you can tell somewhere down the line Otis was a 
collegiate wrestler. Right. Okay, by his build. Why they ever put him with Chad Gable, though, uh, you know, and you know Gable's a college wrestler. There's no doubt about right. it. But why put him with Gable? I totally agree with you. I enjoyed him when he was with Mandy. Mm-hmm. It, it was, and I'll give WWE, whoever created it, it was good storyline. Right. And I enjoyed it. But this now, mm. Instead of making him like a serious character like that, if they would have put him with Gable, but he was like the same Otis, so yeah. like Gable's having trouble like trying to mm-hmm. keep him in one place, trying to figure it out and have like right. a slow build of him becoming a good, like goofy wrestler right. would have been kind of cool. Right. Not but totally. we thought of it, so WWE would never, <laughs> no, and they're not going ever, pay, and they're not going to pay you for it either, brother. No, they absolutely wrong because you're not a comedian to write for them. Right. You know too much about wrestling. All right, next topic. Samoa Joe said in an interview that Triple H called him a couple of hours right after he was released about coming to NXT. After last night, I'm completely convinced WWE is just fucking trolling us. <laughs> What's that? Because we because now they're releasing saying? all these people and now they're just bringing them all back. Absolutely. I think they just wanted to piss everybody off for views to see what, like what they're gonna do next, and they're like, eh, "Just kidding, <laughs> they're coming back." I think we pissed you off a little. Too much this time. Right. Psych. <laughs> yes. uh, they still say he's preparing, hopefully, for a return inside the ring. I don't see it. But, yeah, well, not now, not anytime soon, no. unless he gets into a scrap with one of the people that he's enforcing because of William Regal. I mean, we've seen him and, and Crosco nose to nose a little bit, but I mean, choked I, out I Adam know. Cole already. That's right. That's, that's right. So we'll see what happens. I'm not surprised that they called him back. I'd lay, I would have liked to have seen a few other people get, get calls to come back, but we'll see. All right, next can, topic. Can, we, can, we, yes. can I throw one out? Yeah. Daniel Bryant. Mm-hmm. Anybody heard anything about him? Not since WrestleMania. No. Next topic. Yeah, but he is supposedly a producer in the backstage, isn't he, on SmackDown? They're using him in, in behind the curtain. I don't think he is anymore. I think he's just at home. Is, well, but you know what? His contract is due to run out very soon, maybe within the next month or two. I don't, but his contract is due up real soon. I, and thought, I thought it was I, gone like, yeah, like, like right after was, WrestleMania. Like I thought that. his contract so, was Okay, over. I'm not sure. For that some like reason, I quit match or whatever he had that he lost, that, that was literally the day his contract expired. Okay. I, all right. I don't well, remember I, that, you know, but that'll just, work. I just bring the name up. That's all. No, 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 no. I, I get you. I, I totally get you. So, you know, with the kids and the family and everything else, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? If anybody knows, let us know. You know? <laughs> Daniel anyway. Bryan, if you're listening to this, call That's on. right. That's right. Let's go Bree mode. Come on, Daniel. Give us a call. All right. <laughs> we touched on this before. Cross, Tony Storm, Shot, uh, Shotzi, and Odyssey Jones. We're up at SmackDown doing some uh, dark matches. We talked about them. Um, yep. This came down about two weeks ago, I believe. But uh, all main roster talents have been mandated to get to the Performance Center to train as the company prepares to get back on the road as of July 12th. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I talked to... Uh, who? I talked, who? Uh, who? I talked to a lady at the show, and it's uh, not who you're thinking. Boo. I talked to a lady Ring the bell. at the show <laughs> last Saturday night. Okay. Who, yes, I know who you're talking who, about. Who is, who is a professional wrestler. Mm-hmm. And um, You didn't introduce me, but that's Well, right. that's because I didn't, and I have my reason. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I had gas money to get there. She, she said... Uh, uh, I'll pay you that money I owe you right now. Okay. She's, on the air. She's starting to get back in the ring. Right. She's to get the ring rust off. Uh-huh. And I think that's part of it is, you know, not not that the wrestlers are um, rusty, but is their stamina up to getting back on the road, what, four or five days a week? And right. Having to wrestle. That's why getting rid of all know? the talent that they did body-wise. I mean, maybe all of them deserve to be released. But I can think of four or five or six names out of the people who have been released since the beginning of the year. Should be back. Should be back. I agree with you. What are they going to do for, like, live events when it was, like, the whole undercard is just, like, those kind of people. Right. The mid-carders and everybody. That's exactly right. Unless this is where the influx of NXT talent is going to come from and to fill those gaps on the undercard matches. So, on the the road. Okay. uh, Next. So, anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sending a shout-out to Katarina. There you go. Um, By the way, listen. 
Another story came out about Keith Lee. His, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, who's Mia, 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 Mia Yim. Yim. She was asked on an interview this week where Keith Lee is, and he, she, all she said was, doing fine, but it's not for me to say anything until Keith is able or can speak about what's been happening since February. That's another name. Keith there's, Lee. There's another Absolutely. name. Absolutely. This, this is the biggest. Ma- I, listen, I know Leonard Nimoy has passed away years ago, but we need to find some resurre- resurrection of Leonard Nimoy to get in search of Keith Lee and just what the hell's going on with this situation. This is bizarre, beyond bizarre. You know, we, we've had the fortunate <coughs> opportunity out here in Las Vegas to see Keith Lee wrestle. Mm-hmm. And as a wrestling fan, we know what he can do inside the ring. Absolutely. We've seen it. Okay. And I just hope that it gets rectified very, very soon mm-hmm. and that Keith is able to get back into the ring. Illogical. Yeah. The whole thing is illogical. We just want to bask in his glory. Absolutely. That's, it. That's right. I have, listen, I, I'm, I'm in his corner and, and I hope you see. All right. With this, real quickly, before we get ready for the Chiefs rant. That's a hint, hint there, Mr. Producer, because you always yell at me. Zelina Vega making her return last night to SmackDown. Well received. And she has a position in the Money in the Bank match, was she not? Yeah. Right? Yes. Sonya Deville gave her a position, uh, gave her a spot in that match. Yes. And then she went on to lose. Correct. <laughs> last night's match. I couldn't believe she came back to lose, but hopefully this opens a door for her husband to come back too. That, that would be interesting to see. The question is, the person that she lost to last night will – she get into the money in the bank. And she lost to Carmelo, was it? I don't remember no. who she was. Liv Morgan. Oh, Liv Morgan. Morgan. Well, I had the blonde so hair. Did, so does Liv get into money in the bank eventually? Is she going to be the sixth person possibly? She's beating everybody, so Ex- exactly. I'm sure that it's going to be the end of the like, thing Ex- is if exact- she wins. Exactly. So. That would be good. Uh, last topic before we go to the Chiefs rant. <laughs> Nikki Cross and her superhero gimmick. Thoughts, gentlemen? I actually, I actually expressed mine on Tuesday night with Project I didn't Western hear it. Shade. I just <laughs> talked about one thing I like about her new uh, wrestling gear is that it sort of uh, emphasizes her assets in the ring. A lot better than her previous outfit did. I like crazy Nikki Cross better. I don't know what it shows. I just like but. Nikki Cross, period. She's, she's a good yes. wrestler. Okay. And, and, okay, so she's got uh, assets and all this and, and, and you know. Hey, she's a good re- female. Absolutely. She's a good female wrestler. And I'm, you know, I'll say it this way. I'm glad to see she's getting a little bit of a push. Absolutely. Totally agree. She's going to get a push right out the damn door. <laughs> How far are you going to go from this? I'll leave you with this thought before we go into the Chiefs rant. <laughs> I know somebody else is going to get a push out the door, too. Cakes, thank you, Brandon. Don't Brandi. sing yes. it. Just bring it. Hey, good morning, Sean. Everybody's <laughs> jumping in there. Hey, Sean, how's the new vehicle? Yes, Brandy Cakes is the right word I was looking for. Okay, I'll leave you with this as we get ready for the uh, Chiefs rant. Happy Corbin. There she is. There's our superhero. But but you can't see her ass. No, you cannot. The cape is covering it. Anyway. In the words of the last four years, she's not my superhero. (laughs) I I have a new name for you this morning. A new name. Antonio Rocca. Oh, I know Antonio Rocca. But Happy Corbin. What are we thinking about Happy Corbin? You Quickly. Know, what the fuck I, I, are they doing? He got rid of his crown and his car got towed last night. He is like the best heel in that company. Everybody hates him. He doesn't even have like the cool heat. He has like the, oh my God, get off my television heat. He might be another one that's going to make a switch. Could be. Could probably use it. Probably use Happy it. Happy Corbin. Happy. I saw that. Wasn't that a movie? Like, Was that, oh, that was Happy Gilmore. Sorry. Uh, I thought it was Happy Gilmore. All right, with that. We are now going to shift to time of three minutes of our show that everybody tunes into. It is now time for the Chiefs rant. Good morning, everybody. This is the Chief, and I'm happy to be here with my three minutes of rant. Now it's 2.58, and Sean, you're right. I did listen to Antonio Rocca by teletype. You're absolutely right, but that's another story. Anyway, what I want to talk about today, and I'm going to make it real short. School is out for the season, and I drive down certain roads in the morning, 
and I'd just like to know why the school zone lights are still on. Maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody from the Clark County School District can come on and enlighten us. Okay, this isn't about wrestling. This is just about us. And you know, when you got to back down to 15 miles an hour, when there's no cars in the parking lot at the schools, and if you don't, you're going to get a damn ticket. Can somebody explain to me why? From the school, no, school. from the school, no, no, no. I know no. a guy named Phil Cohen who works for the school district. I, I can I, probably answer that question I, for and, you nice and easily. And I hear, I hear that, and I, I love that man, and I appreciate him. But, <laughs> I, but when a, there's no cars, <laughs> I know when, like this. when there are no cars in the parking lot, there are no teachers there, there are no school, no students there, and there's no summer school there. Can somebody explain to me why the lights are on? If they're having summer school, that's a different story, Mr. Cohen. So what, Mr. Cohen's called in? I, I don't know. Maybe he did. I, I'm hoping he does. But anyway. I think he just sent me a, a text to share with your messaging. But go ahead and finish your rant. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready to wind it up because I'm getting wound up about it. I know it. you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I let, listen, on a, on, a, on a different note, um, please, everybody, Tomorrow's my day. This is the day that I really celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I want to wish everybody a safe and happy 4th of July. If you're going to shoot fireworks, shoot safe fireworks. Um, Blow your hand off. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Come back. JPP. Come back with eight <laughs> fingers and two thumbs, please. Uh, I love you all. That's the yes, chief, that's, that's yeah, the chief eight rant. fingers and two th No, that's that the chief's right. rant for yeah. today. Right Dude. on, right on. So, I think Phil, if he were here, yes, sir, would say the following. Yes, sir. An unusual additional thirty days to the calendar was added, which ended June thirtieth. Correct. So they had to extend the clocks now or the lights. There is a continuing what they call ESY, which is a, their true summer program. Okay. For exceptionals. No, it's, it's actually almost like a mini summer school, actually, <laughs> okay. where it's the traditional sc summer school setting where students need to catch up. Gotcha. Depending upon how the school is set up for access and everything, Correct. there may or may not be teacher cars visible. Correct. Okay. And so, and so they're probably heeding additional safety and maybe keeping the lights on a little lo longer during the ESY segment of the calendar. Well, the, and, uh, okay, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Let's just change the rule and let's just keep them on year-round. Uh, you know what? For the safety of getting in the habit of driving slower in the school, the school zones, let's just keep I'm them not on. against that. Let's just <laughs> keep them with on. You. See, I'm okay with that. Right. I'm okay we'll pass with them that. like you're in the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> but, just kidding. I'm but, just kidding. But you know what? And this is all joking aside. You know, and I do, when the lights are on, I, I follow sure. the rules. But I'm going to tell you what, there are so many people that blast. Oh, my God. Uh, Heather brings up a, an interesting comment, and it does say this. Those lights say when students are present. So that, that is a great point, but in a habit. Thanks, Heather. When you see the lights, just slow down. Get in the yep. habit, because you know what? My wife, who now is officially on vacation, she has three weeks vacation now. So she's off this week. So she's getting some rest finally. Finally, yeah, because she worked the, the extra 30. Now, yes. her contract would have had to work to like the 22nd of June anyway. But she extended to be part of that program. She's now off for a week. We go away on vacation the 9th through the 16th. And that following Wednesday, which I want to say is the 21st, 22nd, whatever, contractually, she's back at work for the new school year. Oh, wow. So for everybody that worked the summer, pro, even the teachers, the, the teachers are in that same segment. Yeah. Although they don't have to go back at that same July date, right. about a week or 10 days after. Right. They have to go back because the first day of school is August 9th. So it's, it's a very short year this year. Everybody involved with the school district, yes. teachers, administrators, custodians, office, everybody yeah, sure enough, needs a break. Next week, huh? uh, no, I'll be online. Sean, Sean, real quick, when, when does Malia have to go back to school? I, I know she's a school teacher. When's she got to go back? Should we reveal our special, special, special guest next week since somebody's not no. here? <laughs> I'm going to be online, <laughs> God damn it! All right, we're going to step aside for a second break. We come back, we're going to cover AEW Impact, some indie stuff. We're going to show you, if you want to be a bell ringer in the studio, what you need to do and how to get some shirts on ProWrestlingTees.com with a discount. I did talk to him this week. I'll have you know. That's good. 
Uh, you're watching TCA. We'll be right back. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! If you order Firehouse subs online or with our app, we'll have those delicious, melty subs boxed, bagged, and ready to pick up with Rapid Rescue to go. Firehouse subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. This is John Cena. I just, I just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere, because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere because they do. Thirty-seven five. Anyway, welcome back to TCA. Three quarters, half timers. All right, we got a lot going on. Um, here you go. So that okay. Yep, you got it. I think uh, Sean, August 9th or tenth or something, is the first day of school for the kids. She and goes the te- back the fifth. Yep. And my wife, as an administrator, goes back that Wednesday. Wow. What is it, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 second. Okay. Whatever that Wednesday is, she goes yeah. back contractually as an administrator. Earlier. Yeah, as administrator, they go back about 10 days or and so. And give ahead. them more money because they deserve it, damn it. Yeah, what he said. Okay, let's move on to AEW Impact and Indie Report. The talk of the week on social media. Jim Ross, one considered probably one of, if not the best, up there with Gordon Soley and those guys. Uh, voices of professional wrestling. Welcomed and signed off, rather, telling everybody, thank you for watching WWE Dynamite. You know what? I don't care what people think. Jim Ross is as good as Gordon Soley. I just said that. Okay. <laughs> and as good as Lance Russell. I don't know that name. Check, what? Check your history. <laughs> anyway. So he made a fucking mistake. So what? Get over it. Get off of it. And leave it the hell alone. Now, Jim Ross, I hope you make another mistake. Because that's all people can talk about. They don't talk about the good you do. They only talk about the bad shit. Like anybody in the world. So get over it, folks. Matt, (laughs) follow that. (laughs) He's on live TV. He worked for WWE for like 25 years. It's probably on his brain every once in a while. Do the commentators have somebody in their ear talking to them like they do in WWE when you're on? I mean, do we know at AEW? I don't think Tony Khan is as near as controlling as Vince McMahon, who wants to control every syllable that comes out of your mouth. So I highly doubt Tony Khan's like constantly in their ear. Gotcha. He might have something to be like, hey, mention this or do this. Right. Something to that effect, but... Okay. And folks, I apologize for my language, but that just teased me off sometimes. There you go. Jessica McKay and Cassie Lee, better known as the Iconics, they are unable to work because they don't have green cards officially. So they can't work without them, or they... I mean, they have to get them, or they have to get sponsored. So where are they going to show up? Who knows? None of that can be feared out until they legally can can work. Although, if they're on a work visa, unless that expired, I don't I don't understand. I don't know the law, so I have to look for others. It's kind of funny though that they can't mar- like they can't even use the marriage thing to like get a green card because Cassie Lee married Sean Spears, who's Canadian. Right, that doesn't work. That won't work. But is Jessica he a citizen? McKay married another Australian guy in Australia. Right. So. But is Sean Spears a citizen though of the United States also? I don't Does think he have dual? So. Okay. I don't know. Heather, if you got any info on or you got any insight on that, maybe uh, you can help us out on Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But I'm sure Tony Connell sponsor whatever he needs to, and I'm sure they'll be in AEW before long. Because the, all their 90 days are up this month. That's right. So let's get them back on TV. Totally agree. Um, And by the way, I purposely skipped the one thing in the WWE report. I I appreciate it. We're going to do that towards the end. uh, Do we have to? Yes. 
Well, no, I'm not talking about the hood ornament. I'm talking about the item right above that on our run sheet. Oh, yes. Um, yes. yes. What was I going to say? Oh, Rebel suffered a dislocated kneecap during her tag match on Dynamite. That hurts. <laughs> I, I sympathize for the young lady. I wish you nothing but the best getting back. Uh, it's def and, and, you know, I won't go off, but I will. Uh, it's going to hurt DMD a lot mm -hmm. because that was part of her character. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. By the way, for, for record, Sean Spears is only has citationship in Canada. So there he even his marriage can't help. Appreciate it. Blame that situation. Canada. Appreciate their producer. Uh, oh, my God. From Montreal. I have and a you, and you know what? Thing for while we're right talking now. about Canada and they're down three love in the hockey shout series. out. Shout out to our producer who is Canadian and uh, believe they had uh, Canada Day yesterday. Yes. Was it? Yes. It was Canada so, Day. So shout out to Mr. Aaron. You know what the good thing about Canada Day is? You know it's three days before the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, By the way, if your microphone stops working, you'll understand why. Uh, if he wants those payment, I, be I better not turn it off. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he doesn't need a payment today. I'm surprised I'm We're not still get, covered. I'm surprised. Courtesy I'm not of our sponsor. A, not getting a if he wants free sandwiches next time. Well, there you Antonio go. Antonio Rocca. <laughs> Antonio Rocca. There yeah. you go. All right. Uh, I was a wrestler. AEW finished up at Daly's Place as uh, they get ready to hit the road next week. Oh, did they? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they didn't play that during the night game. <laughs> I was so disappointed. There's probably some rule in the NHL that you can't Damn, do Damn, I hurt my back. <laughs> That's right. You... <laughs> Traction, call 911 for Chief, please. Okay. Uh, Sponsored by Life Alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. God. Ricky Starks returning to the ring within three months of having a fractured neck. Now what they do with science for these neck injuries to get people back in shape is, is crazy. Is that what really happened to him? Yeah, he broke wow. his neck. I didn't know that. Crazy stuff, man. I, I don't know what he went else. through or rehab he went through. Was it but flippy shit? I hopefully wonder. he's all right. Did, flippy shit. Did you do some flippy shit there? No. No? Wow. I'm glad, Ricky, I'm, I'm glad you're coming back. Uh, you know, I appreciate that. Absolutely. You're, you're, a great per, you're a great performer for a young fella. So I hope you have uh, many, many more years ahead of you, sir. A couple more things before we go to um, our pop culture for the day. Can you switch to the laptop, please, Mr. Producer? Um, as always, thoughtscountanywhere.com. Click on the shop tab. We'll bring up our store items. Of course, there's our WWE creative writing, our thoughts on that. But Chief, it ain't easy. That's right. In honor of Chief and 4th of July, let's support the big man here. Chief, it ain't easy. You have it in black. You have it in white. Available through thoughtscountanywhere.com. Now, of course, we still are in support of Garth, uh, Garth Wall's uh, cause, the Nevada Coalition of Suicide Prevention. 50% of net proceeds. Of this shirt you see on your screen, Eat, Sleep, Watch Wrestling, Repeat, or Eat, Sleep, Sell Cars, Repeat, 50% of the net proceeds for both of those shirts are donated in Garth's grandfather's name, who passed away in 2015. Um, go to that cause, and we're very happy to be part of that. If you want to be a bell ringer on our show from now on, you see this shirt right here. I want to be a guest bell ringer, okay? You must purchase that shirt. When it arrives, you must take a selfie with it and post it on our Facebook page. And at that point, we'll, we would love to have you in the studio as our guest, as our guest bell ringer and if you for a show. And if you don't know how to ring the bell, I will give you lessons. Chief will write out detailed steps. He will hit you with the little hammer. That's right, which Garth broke next, Tuesday right? night, by the way. Here's another of Chief's uh, shirts. You got that one there, the typewriter shirt that he's wearing right That's now in honor of the rant. Thoughts count anywhere. It's such good shit. The one that Matt is currently wearing right now. There you go. I got to get that one. And by the way, I actually have that in a tank top for my summer wear. I got to get that one. Here's one for me. Acknowledge me. Aaron Phillips, the voice Hall of Famer, not the head of the tribal table, just a Hall of Famer. You can grab that one if you'd like. I have that one. Okay. Traditional thoughts count anywhere, also available in tank, which I have that. And then, of course, our new logo, which we absolutely love. That's the one I That's get. a great one. Yeah. And uh, again, the traditional one yeah, and that. our original logo are all available on our website. And again, I just want to mention, folks, not just shirts. If you click on the item, you'll have a drop-down menu that drops down below the price, and you have your entire choice of the type of items that you can select from everything from uh, beer cooler, the little koozie thingy, 
if you have a, a child, a nephew, son, daughter, who knows, now just now the mouse stops working, you can drop down and click on that menu and you'll be able to see everything there that is available for purchase with that logo. Now, that being said, oh, now the mouse is you working. Have any shirt ideas? Oh, Hit yes. Me up. We would love shirt ideas. As you can see, we're open to just about anything. I, I, have, I have a question. Sure. Not necessarily on our pro wrestling tees. Okay. Um, company here <laughs> but on our other one which um, one sean hyde is great did no, you read his comment our, i'll read our, it later on our other store oh, okay i just brought it up pro wrestling tees no the other one our store yeah okay I which have, i was just I, on i have a uh a, i have a question or a suggestion okay i'd like to know why your book's not on there oh and i wish my you, book i, I wrote wish, a book i wish you would put your book on there please It'll be on there right after the show. Wow. Okay. Well, um, you're welcome. Thank you. I don't. I'm not comfortable I, putting myself over, but I. Well, appreciate I'm that. going to put you the hell over. The, the the young man sitting next to me, and he's younger than me, so I can it's say up, that. <laughs> it's up <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> there you go. Let my voice speak to you now. Available on <laughs> Kindle. Um, I detail my story, uh, health journey as well as sharing some stories from behind the microphone, some crazy stuff ranging from Henry Hill, the, the mobster who passed away, to other crazy guests we've had over the years. And if you're interested in doing what we do, whenever we figure that out, I have some nuggets of training in the book mixed in as well. But the book is primarily designed to motivate and support those who want to make changes in their life, especially on their health. Now, if we can just go back to the uh, uh, computer one last time, and then we'll, we'll head into the final stretch here. I mentioned earlier that we are on ProWrestlingTees.com website. All you need to do is just type in our name in the search bar, click it, and you will see that we have a couple. Well, we have one shirt up, our main logo. What did you tell me on Tuesday about quantities? If uh, we get up to a certain number, we uh, can if have. If we order 20, we can put as many as we want. Okay, so I know a couple have been ordered. We need to get to 20 orders for this shirt that you see there. And if you order this weekend as part of another purchase, you get 20% off your entire purchase if you order $100 worth of merchandise on this site off your order for the weekend. So whether you buy it on its own or you add it to another purchase package, that's great. We need to get 20 shirts sold on ProWrestlingTees.com uh, in order to add some more of our wonderful merchandise. Okay, uh, enough of that. I appreciate it. Got to do that because that's uh, one important thing. Okay, uh, oh, we have birthdays to do first. Which would you uh, like to do first? Uh, birthdays, pop culture, or uh, should we go out with uh, the Patriot? Or do you want, to, want me to do the Patriot now? That's Del. fine. You want to do that now? Sure. We'll just yeah. mention. Okay. Uh, let's see where to go. Del Wilkes, who, of course, was better known as the Patriot within his days of WWE, was 59 years old, and uh, he passed away earlier this week. I think there's a little symmetry of a guy who was named the Patriot and dressed in the red, white, and blue yep. uh, coming into this weekend. But he will be missed. He was a great performer. Uh, your thoughts there, Chief? Yeah, I, I, I was fortunate enough to get to see him down in uh, Continental Championship Wrestling down in the uh, southern part of uh, Florida and, and over in the uh, Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama, that area, before he even got his push up into the WWE. The only thing I can say is, what a performer. And he represented the red, white, and blue very, very good. Absolutely, and he'll be missed, and our thoughts and prayers go out to uh, his family as well. Uh, thank you, Heather. Uh, again, uh, um, Matt will take care of that. I appreciate it. Here's what Matt said if we want a shirt idea. Sean uh, said that, didn't he? Oh. Also for your friend. Oh, thank you. In honor of, of all those, uh, caught me off guard for sure. Yeah, in honor of all those, guard, yeah. In, in honor of all those, like like Chief and all those before him and all those after him and everybody that helped us gain our independence, uh, we salute you uh, for sure. And as uh, you may, the mic may have picked it up, but 
tomorrow is the memorial service for my buddy Ricky Cash, who passed away back on Mother's Day. Um, Zoom memorial service will be held and, and uh, done across the country for those who can get in on, on the Zoom. And I will be delivering the eulogy tomorrow, which is why I'm skipping verses today, because I need the time to get my, my act together and get ready for that. Can won't I be easy. Can I get into the Zoom tomorrow? Uh, I can send you the link. Sure. Okay. It's at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, hey. I'll, I'll be happy I, to send you the link. As you said, I don't do nothing anyway, so. That's, I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I did you not. You said that Tuesday night. Did I say that? Yeah. Must have been Phil Cohn who said that. I don't know. Uh, Sean Hyde says, uh, he asked, we asked for an idea, and he says, Chief used to watch wrestling on the radio should be the name of a shirt. Chief used to watch wrestling on the radio as a shirt. Okay. With an old-style radio. Oh, that's happening. I'm, st I'm, st I'm, still, I'm still waiting for Antonino Rocca. And Sean, and Sean give us, gave us totally, total permission to uh, use that. Okay. We have about seven minutes left. Let's get into some birthdays. Happy birthday how come to my you. Name's, how come my name's not on here? What's up with that? <laughs> you were supposed to take care of that one, man. If you are celebrating a birthday ha. today through next Friday, you, you had one job, Chief. <laughs> we want to wish you a happy birthday. And you are celebrating with all of these people today, July 3rd. Aaron goddamn Phillips. No. That's July 5th. I'll, let, I'll cue you. Happy 60th. Fuck you. <laughs> Tuesday show, he flashes that up. I was doing a couple of shows. Where <laughs> and he puts up there, under my picture, happy 60th birthday. For the record, I don't care what he puts up. I'm turning 57, okay? And I'll show you my driver's license if need be. Okay. Damn, is that all? July 3rd, Freaking Joey Janella. Nice. July 4th, Barry Windham and Sid Vicious. July 5th, Hillbilly Jim, Jerry Sags, Adam Cole. And goddamn Aaron Phillips. <laughs> 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 Happy 40th anniversary of your 20th birthday, sir. So I added up 40, 40 and wow. 20 is 60. Wow. <laughs> July 6th, Lars Anderson. July 8th, Marcel Bartho Barthel. Sorry. July 9th, Kevin Ash, Mark Miro, Salvador Sin Sincere? Yep. That's his name? That's his Sin name. It sounded like it should be Salvador Sinciere or something. Oh. Shelton Benjamin and Andrew Everett. And if, again, you are celebrating a birthday with all these people and our country, happy birthday from all of us here at Thoughts Count Anywhere. America. America. Yeah. That's right. Land of the free, home of the brave. All right. So we have about five minutes left. So let's get into some pop culture topics. We've already covered whatever everybody does for July 4th, folks. Just please, in all seriousness, be safe. Take care of your pets. If you've got rockets and stuff going on over your house and your pet is skittish, Please take care of them. Don't let them languish uh, scared and nervous. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of pee and crap to pick up from them. Well, you know, and, and let me yes. let me back piggyback on that. Yeah. Um, I do have a uh, four-legged animal that is uh, part of our family. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a couple things you can do if you talk to your vet. Uh, Liz and I have a um, an ointment that we can put on Sandy's gums. Okay. Uh, three three little Three dabs on both sides okay it lasts for six hours so it's like a cbd oil to it, ca it something com calms, calms down. you down or the other one is that there is a pill out there that's uh, a little bit of a narcotic like a valium like yeah, thing that'll oh just, there you go that'll just calm them down there you go thank some you. things up there thank you brother i appreciate yeah, absolutely. that absolutely and you know it just uh, it calms them down right and, and you know for the buttholes that uh that shoot don't off care. exactly right so, absolutely, please take care of your pets now. All right, okay. with that, you have some announcements about some cards and matches and stuff going on today. We, we have at Versus Pro Studio at the Boulevard Mall at 2 p.m. today. It is called Stars and Straps. That's right. So, Mr. Aaron, unfortunately, won't be there giving his expertise. Um, some question that. <laughs> no, I don't. I could care less. Yes, I will unfortunately have to miss today's card. I could care less what other people think. Did you think. need gas money you know to that. get there? Yeah, that's what, I'm out of gas. I need, I get, I need you gas need money. You need a 20? Here, I'll give you 20 right <laughs> I think 50 should cover it, I personally. Got 50, you need 50, I got it. <laughs> um, Are you between a rock and a hard place? Ooh. And, and, and <laughs> Johnny, don't be bad. And anyway, uh, that's, that's at 2 p.m. at the Boulevard Mall. And tonight, uh, FSW at the FSW Arena, uh, 7 7 p.m. Uh, showtime. So we have uh, two events, and uh, unfortunately, last night I couldn't make the one down uh, um, 
the Beast Compound mm -hmm. had a wrestling show oh, last night. Okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't make that one, um, and I I enjoy that. So we've got some good wrestling in town now. Did folks. they bring chairs in? Yes, they did. Okay. And I guess they're August just 21st. A rumor rocks. there's a big show here. Too. Yeah, there's a rumor. Something about August 21st. Uh, something about summer or something or other. Summer Slim, Slim Fast, something. I don't know. Spring, fall, summer. Some, some, summer did you get your ticket slim? yet? Yeah. Hell bring, yeah. Bring it in so everybody can see. They're probably it. electronic. Did you get they're electronic, electronic. tickets? Is it electronic tickets? Yeah. yeah. Bring did it. I, I don't remember seeing an email of mine. In any way, August 21st. SummerSlam. Yes, and also July 18th will be the next show for Versus after today. That's a Sunday okay. instead of the traditional Saturday is July 18th. Okay. Uh, real and, and we may have a, uh, I'm not sure, I'm, I don't have this on definite yet, but there may be a, a surprise in town for SummerSlam. Ooh. Well, I thought, to follow. I thought he was going to talk about next Saturday. I will be in Lake Havasu next week, but I will be on video to join you gentlemen to uh, not break up the trio. I have so much fun on this show. I can't right. not be here. So I will be on video next week. Uh, these the, gentlemen will, will hold down the desk. How the hell are we going to get you a run sheet? Email. Oh, okay. That's all. Or I'll just, just or one of you guys will just follow the lead. The amount of smart ass comments that went through my head in that one second. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you said something before I did. <laughs> or you guys will take lead of the run sheet and topics. <laughs> And I'll just jump in when you guys start a topic. That's all. My goodness gracious. There is a thing called email. Um, I blew someone's mind with something like that yesterday. They were like, do you guys have to-go menus at the restaurant? And I was like, no. I was like, do you have a cell phone? And they were like, yeah. I was like, take a picture of it. And they were like, why would I take a picture of it? Oh, my god. And goodness. I was like, well, your phone goes with you, right? And uh, you true. have a to-go uh, menu. Absolutely. I, absolutely. Love, I love this show. Anyway. Hey, anyway, the Suns are in the NBA Finals. Okay, they are. Chris um, Paul got I don't know nothing about basketball, but I'm very excited for them to be in the finals. There you go. Because you all were talking about it last week. We, we pumped you up your on show, the, uh, and I, was, I said the Suns were going to win it. You did. You absolutely did. But now who will they face from the Eastern Conference, the Hawks know. or the Bucks, is the question. Because both stars for both of those teams are out due to injury. So I we'll see what happens. Young and Giannis out. Who knows? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Someone will have to step up. I think Phoenix will win it all regardless of who comes in from the East. Um, that's it. Fast 9 is out in theaters finally. With that, again, we want to thank everybody for watching. Final thoughts, Mr. Matt? Everybody have a good, safe week. Drink lots of water. Tired of calling ambulances for drunk people. <laughs> there you go. Chief. Uh, folks, everybody have a happy fourth. Matt, stay safe down on the strip, please. Aaron, I will be with you tomorrow, my brother. Uh, thank you. And please enjoy your vacation next week. I will try to. All right. Even though we're going to give you a bunch of shit on the That's radio. Okay. You know I'll be listening. I'll, I'll be there via video. It's okay. All suntan. I may even just do it right from the lake. I love you guys. Hell yeah. So, All right. With that, we want to thank everybody for watching today. We greatly appreciate you guys becoming part of our family here. We want to wish everybody there, out there, a happy 4th of July from my teammates. Be safe, gentlemen. Love you guys. Aaron, thank you so much as always. Be kind to everybody. Why is that? We're all we have. We'll see you next week on Thoughts Count Anywhere.